Danica and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a fall inspired vegan meal prep and if you like to have your meals prepared in advance for the week then this is the video for you. I hope you guys enjoy it and now let's go ahead and get right into it. For breakfast I made a baked berry oatmeal. Start by preparing a flax egg. Add 3 tablespoons of flax seeds and 6 tablespoons of water to a small bowl, mix well and set aside. Then to an oven safe dish, add 2 and a half cups of mixed berries, 2 and a half cups of oatmeal, and also 2 and a half cups of non-dairy milk. Give that a good stir and add in the rest of your ingredients. Add in your flax egg, 1 teaspoon of baking powder, and 1 teaspoon of cinnamon. Mix everything together before adding it to the oven. Bake the oatmeal in the oven at 375 degrees for 45 minutes. This meal is honestly perfect to make ahead. It looks like a dessert, but it is really healthy. In the morning, I like to eat it with a bit of maple syrup and a cup of coffee. It's so delicious. For lunch, I made a quinoa and vegetable soup. Start by chopping some vegetables. For this recipe, I used some fresh vegetables and also some frozen vegetables. I'm chopping an onion, two carrots, and also two cloves of garlic. To a pot, add a splash of water and incorporate the onion and the garlic and cook until they're fragrant. Add the carrots and when your fresh vegetables are cooked, pour some vegetable broth in the pot. I also added a cup of water to the soup. And now I'm just adding my frozen vegetables. I'm adding some butternut squash and also some Brussels sprouts. For some added protein, mix in half a cup of quinoa and that's gonna keep you full longer. Let it simmer until the quinoa is cooked. For spices, I sprinkled some salt and pepper and also some thyme. I also mixed in a handful of spinach for some more color and vitamins. Give that a nice stir and remove from the heat when the quinoa is cooked. Divide the soup into glass containers to store. I love having soup for lunch, it is filling but also comforting. I used some staple fall vegetable for the soup and I think it is the perfect fall soup. For dinner, I made a tofu fried rice. For my veggies, I'm using one onion, a clove of garlic, two carrots, broccoli, and cauliflower. I also pre-made three cups of rice. To a large pan, add some sesame oil to cook your veggies. I'm also adding half a block of crumbled firm tofu and that's going to replace the texture of eggs that's typically in fried rice and also for some protein. So basically what I'm doing is I'm actually doing a scrambled tofu to start and then I'm going to add my rice a bit later. For spices, add about 2 tablespoons of nutritional yeast and also some red chili flakes. Then you can go ahead and add in your broccoli and your cauliflower and cook before finally adding your rice.
Finally, you can add in your sauce. I'm adding some soy sauce and also some sriracha. I've been loving this meal for a meal prep. I think it's easy to make a big batch and it's a great way to eat healthy. You can get in a lot of vegetable and it will keep you full for a long time. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe because I upload every single Monday. Also, let me know in the comments down below what meal was your favorite meal and what meal are you most excited to try. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye!